everyone, Amy Love here, and I'm here to share another project with you featuring goodies from Angel Dream Crafts, Kim on Etsy, which you can find the link to the store below in the description box. But I created this kit, kilt pin wall hanging, but it is almost a yard long. So I'm not gonna be able to get it all in one shot, but I did take lots of fantastic pictures and I will tack them on um, at the end of this video so that you can have a better look. So I actually started with this beautiful um, piece of fabric strip that I had um, and it happened to be this long and I think I have four more just like it. So there's gonna be some long projects, but it was so much fun. But I didn't cover the back because I like to see all the stitches on there. I kind of like that. So I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it there. So I wrapped the fabric um, onto one of the beautiful kilt pins uh, from Kim's Etsy store, and then I just sewed it, and that's how it's attached. And then to the top part, I added some beads from my stash, just so it would be pretty. And what you can't see, of course, is all the lovely layers that I uh, started with because I covered them all up. Now you can see some peeking through the back, which is fun. I started uh, layering doilies all the way down using a mixed pack of doilies from Kim's shop. And then I used cheesecloth and lace snippets from some of her laces. And like from the back, you can really see how yummy how yummy it is, but you really can't see the yummy goodies underneath the top layer of yummy goodies. So, I mean, there's some peeking out and I, I love that there's so many layers to this when you look through, it's really pretty. So anyway, after I got the snippets and the doilies all and the cheesecloth all sewn on, I began to embellish. And what I did is I used some of my stamps. I kind of went with a Parisian theme for this. And so I pulled out all the Parisian-y type stamps I had and some archival ink. And I just stamped it onto um, some muslin. And then I took the little strip of muslin and I um, layered it on top of another piece of fabric in a white and then cheesecloth in between. So I don't know if you'll be able to see both of the layers, but you can see the white fabric peeking out and then there's cheesecloth cheese cloth in between the muslin and the white fabric. And then I just zigzag stitched around it and kind of made little patches out of each of the stamped images. And then I sewed them on where I wanted them. And then on the top, I used a whole bunch of, and I don't think you're going to very see it very well, and I have none left, but this beautiful trim from Kim's shop that just has flowers. It, it, they have this size and then um, this size flowers all over it. Well, oh no, I'm going to sneeze, I think. Oh no, excuse me. <laughs> Pardon me. So anyway, those flowers are all over this thing, and there's one right behind here. And then I layered on some uh, of the, I love this stuff, eyelash trim. Is that what we're calling it? White eyelash trim behind or on top of that flower. And then I put one of these beautiful flowers from Kim's shop on top of that. Then um, these flat back cabochons are from Kim's shop. And I'm, let me see, I know there's a glare. Let's see if I can... Ooh, you can see it when I give a shadow. Let me try to move this out of the way. But there's a bird on that. I just loved it. And then this key charm from Kim's shop. And then I just use glossy accents to adhere that cabochon inside that key. And I have it tied on with some of that eyelash trim that I love so much. And then these beautiful uh, leaf, like leaf vines, which I added all over here, are from a, tr a dangle trim from Kim's shop. So I added those and then I glued on little rhinestones to every leaf. And then there's this beautiful leaf. I didn't leave anything out. But anyway, she has this beautiful trim 
that's these leaves right here. And so I added those all around. And then I also went uh, through and uh, hand sewed on a bunch of pearls, which I just love. So you'll find those everywhere and those are hand sewn on. Then this is a white shabby rosette that Kim uh, has a few different colors of in the shop. And then that is a beautiful bling from her shop. I don't know. I'm not sure the best way to, they're gorgeous. Okay, there. So super pretty. And then um, this is, you know, one of the flowers off of that lace. And then I layered some of the eyelash trim on top of it. And then I put on this beautiful crown from Kim Shop. Some more of that leaf applique, some more hand sewn pearls. And then I dangled this charm from Kim's shop, which is um, an Eiffel Tower on a lobster cloth. So I just clipped it on one of the laces right there. Right, and then these, I'm not even showing you my cute little stamped images. They're adorable. This one um, didn't stamp out clearly, but I didn't care. I thought it was very cute and I used it anyway. I love it. So this is another one of those white shabby rosettes. And then on top of the rosette is one of these, uh, this is from a dangle trim from Kim's shop that I added uh, flatback pearls to. Then I um, hand sewed pearls all around the white shabby rosette. And then I put another one of her beautiful flowers in this gorgeous color. I love those flowers so much. So that's just kind of dangling right there. Some more hand sewn pearls and some more uh, leaf vines with rhinestones. Another beautiful bling from her shop, this heart bling. I just love it. And some more um, hand sewn details and that little crown. You can see some of the flowers peeking out from behind. Another one of those leaves and another flower. Another one of those beautiful bling pieces. And I did uh, put some uh, eyelash trim behind it. I just love all the shabbiness and all the layers on this. I absolutely love it. So this right here, this is one of her beaded appliques and it's the one that kind of has an oval in the middle. So I decided to put on top of that a shabby white rosette and then I hand sewed all the pearls around and then I put in this uh, French flat back cabochon in the middle of the rosette and Kim has tons of cabochons in the shop. They're just beautiful. And then I layered underneath that my favorite dangle trim, which is this one. And then I used this beautiful lace. I love to just gather this lace up. I think it's so cute. And then I put the basket weave dangle on the back. And then I used um, some more of the little rhinestone crystals on the bottom. So. I had such a good time making this. I mean, I love, love, love how it turned out. Um, it was so fun. And, you know, I'm just really enjoying sewing the things. And thankfully, Kim has beautiful things for me to sew with. <laughs> so I'll leave a link below to the shop. Go over and check it out. There's also a link to all of the current designers below. Be sure you go to see what they're making with their yummies. And I would love to know what you think of my little Parisian themed kilt, uh, kilt pin wall hanging. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching, everybody. And I will see you on the next one.